Hello there everyone, Citrus Aviation here with yet another video today and this video is Aviation News This Week episode 42 is it? Actually I need to check real quick, hold up one second. Yes, we are on episode 42 and we're going to get started right here with the setup for the week. I know this might become a weekly thing, I don't know. I generally don't give setups as you might see in my videos, but sometimes I do want to give one if there's a special personally I want to give a shout out to that week for whatever reason. This time I have a shout out to Jeremy Just 13 He has returned to YouTube as you can see in the last week or so. These are the five videos he's uploaded in a week and as you can see he's definitely back and it's so great to see a lot of these formerly taken hiatus YouTubers return. Jeremy Just 13 is one, Austin Winslow I think uh, sorry if I butchered your name but Austin Winslow I think was another one and there's a couple other people return. It's fantastic. I made my return, obviously, back in May of last year, and I'm glad to be back. But a lot of other people have just recently returned. I'm very glad that people have returned. It's, it's really good news. So there's obviously this, and he's got a lot of good videos. Go check him out. He's got a famous library, you know, eight years of videos. Go check him out. Uh, this picture, by the way, here is not of downtown Charlotte, as far as I can tell. I believe this is actually downtown Nashville. Uh, Jeremy Just 13, if you're watching this video, will you tell me what city this is? I think this is Nashville because I recognize this building and this building. But anyway, uh, very good videos. He has great uh, little airport updates and he does trip ports and that sort of thing. And yeah, he, he's a very great person to, you know, be in contact with. Alright, so we're next going to move on to this photo here. It's the very first one submitted by one of you guys. This is a 757-200, former US Airways 1. November 2007 Uniform Whiskey, submitted to me by Red River Aviation. And this one was taken at Washington Reagan National on the 22nd of October 2018. It's a very nice picture here as it's banking in to land on the Riverside Landing there. It's really nice. You should go visit that famous park um, if you're ever in the D.C. area. It's a fantastic location. And get some great plane spotting adventures there. It's, it's lots of fun. Check it out. This is a great picture, and if you want to have your pictures featured in the next Aviation News This Week, I have an email address that will be linked down below. You can submit your pictures there. Also, please submit a date, registration, and airport it was taken at. Uh, that would really help out a lot. And if you have some fun info you want to throw in there as well you want me to include, feel free to do that, and I will include it. So thank you to Red River Aviation for being the first person to submit a picture. And we are now on to the next highlight news and pictures. So this picture here is taken at Los Angeles on the 7th of April 2019. You can see it's a JetBlue 21 departing for a JetBlue A320 just taxiing there. Really cool picture. You don't see this perspective too often. You see a lot of pictures like this taken at LAX that often pop up on highlights for jet photos and airlines and other websites, but this one I just thought was really nice. Next up we have this nighttime picture. You probably saw me feature one taken by this exact same photographer of a B-25. Now this one is taken on the same day, 3rd of August 2019, at that Detroit Willows Run. This is a smaller airport where they often nearly hold an air show. This one is of an FU-5NL Corsair, registered November X-ray 43 Romeo Whiskey. Very cool thought, very nice picture there. Next picture we have is of a couple of Russian Air Force aircraft. This is a really awesome picture, so both on departure. And the aircraft that is registered here in the photo is Romeo Foxtrot-81719. It's an SU-35S for the Russian Air Force. That is the aircraft up top, I believe, is the Sukhoi-35. Actually, the bottom one is the SU-35S. The top one, I think, would be an SU-35. No, not 35. Something else. It's, this is another aircraft, Sukhoi. I'm not as familiar with Russian fighters. And attack aircraft, these are these are both a pair of attack aircraft, I believe. They're actually quite nice looking. I think they have this unique style to them. But if some of you knows what this top one is, I'm not exactly sure. Next up, we have this awesome picture of a Royal Air Maroc 787 being de-iced. This picture was taken on the 13th of February 2020. And this one was taken at Montreal. Aircraft registration is... Charlie November, that's Romeo Golf Tango. 
Next up, we have a really awesome picture of a Kuwait government AC40 542, which stored as 9 kilo Golf Bravo Alpha. This aircraft is coming in for arrival at Munich. And though that was it for pictures, we now have some fleet news stuff, and this will be where we get into a lot of the news. So the very first A321-271 NX for Middle East Airlines is that bottom A321 NEO that you can see on your picture there. That's the very first one for them. Sarecraft is currently wearing the test registration of Delta Dash Alpha Victor X-Ray X-Ray. This picture was taken in Hamburg on the 14th of March 2020. Now, I don't know if Airbus is delivering aircraft right now because of the current pandemic running around the globe, but they do still appear to be working on building more aircraft. In particular, a lot of A321neos, a lot of new ones have been popping up. In fact, there'll be another one in this very episode. Speaking of that other A321, here it is. It's the very first A321neo for Capital Airlines. Appeared on the same day that a couple others did that were in the last episode. This aircraft is when the test registration of Delta Dash Alpha Victor Yankee Yankee and it is the first A321 Neo for Capital Airlines. The specific A321 Neo type is the A321 251 NX, so it's the extended range version, not the really long range version of the A321 Neo. This aircraft looks pretty good. As you can see, the extended range versions of these A321 Neos have a slightly different door arrangement. So on the normal one, there's four large emergency doors. So instead of having that large one over the wing, or kind of middle-sized one over the wing, there's a large one just in front of the wing right there. And the NX, where you can tell the extended range version, is there is no such large emergency door just in front of the wing right, and instead there's a small middle-sized one right over the wing right. You can also see these a also have three escape hatches. They're not really doors, so if someone has to bust through that part of the aircraft, it's a little bit harder to repair back, but you can see there are three hatches on each side of these aircraft. So if someone ever asks you how many emergency doors does an A321 have, the actual answer is not eight. The actual answer is 16, because there's also two emergency hatches located on the top of the aircraft as well. So that's a fun trivia for you. Next up, we do have some really sad news. It's not news I really want to talk about, but, you know, it's kind of... Sadly, news we do have to talk about because KLM has decided to retire their remaining 747s. And the last time I talked about this topic a couple weeks ago, I did get some information wrong. Uh, I said that they had retired four aircraft. I think it was three or four aircraft, which was not accurate at the time. So I have some update information. I actually wrote down here just so I don't mess it up this time. So KLM finally, on the 29th of March, retired their remaining 747s. The three 747s went early and the first one retired on the 22nd was Papa Hotel Death Bravo Foxtrot Sierra that retired flew its last flight on the 22nd of March. I'm going to count when these aircraft flew their last flight as their retirement date. It flew from Mexico City to Amsterdam on the 22nd and then was retired. On the 23rd of March Bravo Foxtrot Victor flew its last flight from Mexico City to Amsterdam. On the 27th, Bravo Foxtrot November flew its last flight from a city in the Caribbean. Um, I can't really pronounce it, but I'll just put it up right here on the screen for you to see, so you know what airport I'm talking about. And then we are moving on to the aircraft that is pictured here. These are the final flights. So there are four final flights. This picture is of Papa Hotel Das Bravo Foxtrot Whiskey. This is a 747 406M combi. It flew its last flight from Mexico City to Amsterdam on March the 28th and then this aircraft was retired as well. Next picture shows the third to the last flight. This one was on Papa Hotel Das Bravo Foxtrot Yankee. It flew from another city that I can't pronounce, which I'll put up on the screen right now, to Amsterdam. And that flight arrived at Amsterdam on the 29th. I'm counting their retirement date as the date they arrived at Amsterdam. The third picture 
is of the last old livery 747 for KLM to be retired. And this is a really stunning picture right here. You can see how filthy it is, but it's a really awesome picture. This aircraft is Papa Hotel, that's Bravo Foxtrot Lima. It came from that first city that I can't pronounce it, which I'll put back on the screen for you. And it arrived on the 29th to Amsterdam. And then finally, the very last 747 for KLM, which is pictured right here. It is this one, Papa Hotel Das Bravo Foxtrot Tango. In fact, this picture is of it arriving in Amsterdam from its last flight. And this one was from Mexico City, and right in Amsterdam on the 29th of March, 2020. And is officially the last KLM 747 flight ever. Now this is a really sad occasion, as the KLM 747s are pretty famous. They served the airline for many, many years. And it's really sad to see them go. Um, this is another bird that's been retired and has no longer with us. A lot of other airlines are deciding all of a sudden they're going to retire the 747s as well. I'll be coming down in the next episode. But I just wanted to do this one specifically for the KLM 747. So rest in peace to the 747. You will be remembered. So yeah, at some point maybe I might, I might get a model with KLM 747 because I've kind of always wanted one. But yeah, anyway. I hope you guys have been enjoying this episode so far. We do have a couple more news items to wrap it up. One last happy news item, and that's a new livery for the Sabah. New livery for one last kind of happy news item we have for Saha Airlines. Uh, I can't tell if this is a very first century 7 3Q8 or a new livery for them because the picture description doesn't say. But this picture is taken in Tehran, in, in Iran. And this picture is taken on the 30th of March. The aircraft registration is Echo Papa Das Sierra India Juliet. And this aircraft is a former Southwest aircraft, as the three Q8s were formerly owned by Southwest. Very likely Southwest. Maybe it was like United. Because I think. No, not United. But there were a couple of other airlines that did operate Q8s as well. But Southwest was the main operator, so very likely this is a former Southwest Airlines aircraft. Final news bit that we have for this week's episode is a very sad one. And you might remember a couple of episodes ago, I mentioned that American was announcing the retirement of the 34 757s, and that was going to occur early. Didn't know what the date was at the time, but most people assumed early 2021. However, American just announced, well not really just announced, it's been figured out, that they have decided to instead retire all 757s immediately. The 76 is still scheduled to be retired on May the 1st, but the 75s they're going right now. So this is a picture here of November 643 Alpha Alpha taken back in 2009 at Miami. I, mean, I, I like choosing the silver ones because this is my favorite American livery. Still my favorite. The new one's pretty decent, but this one's my favorite. It's a nice picture too. And then here's some picture, a picture of several American Sen 5s at Tulsa. The aircraft that is sewn closest to you is November 15. It's November 195 Alpha November, and it's really cool to see these aircraft just lined up because you don't normally get to see something like this, but it's also kind of sad because they're being retired. If you want to see a really good spy vlog of these aircraft coming in to arrive at Tulsa, I will have a link to Red River Aviation's vlog of these Sen 5s arriving into Tulsa. He did a good video on it if you want to see that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I know these times are really dark and depressing and that sort of thing. But eventually all this will end. The whole situation will end. The pandemic will go away eventually. And we will at some point return to some kind of normalcy. And prosperity and more aviation. So hopefully that gives you guys hope for tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Remember that God loves you. And God bless you. Bye.